Okay, this is a picture of the BET setup. So actually there's two stations, there's a degassing station here and a measurement station over here. So the way the measurement works is we have the sample inside this capillary glass rod which is emerged in liquid nitrogen. So first of all we evacuate this so there's no gas inside, then we emerge it and dose a small amount of nitrogen inside. So by measuring the pressure before and after immer emerging in nitrogen, we can see how many molecules have adsorbed to the surface of the sample and thereby calculate the surface area. So the glass rod we need, they look like this. This is actually the, the sample rod and the sample will be down here. So this is a long glass rod and it's quite fragile. So in order to avoid that we have any sample on the inside here, we use a fairly long funnel to actually um, put the sample inside the capillary. So as this is very fragile, this is done very carefully. So we put the pieces together and slowly slide them, don't let it drop. And before doing that actually we have weighed, we have weighed the sample tube itself so that after inserting the sample we weigh it again and then we have the weight with and without sample and therefore we can calculate the weight of the sample. So again, inserting this slowly and carefully and then you put your sample inside. So the amount of sample you need is about, should have an area of about 10 to 20 square meters. So this might sound like a lot, but actually zeolite has a surface area of about 2,000 square meters per gram, whereas the sodalite is about 20. So you need to calculate in advance how much sample you actually need. So for this demonstration purpose, I'll just use a bit of sugar. So um, getting this so you can see it. So I just pour a little of sugar into the funnel. and then have it go to the bottom of the capillary, like this, and then I weigh it, remove the funnel, and weigh it, and then I place it on the degas station. So eventually what will happen is, I will untie the switch lock fitting up here, insert the capillary at the top, and this is one of the critical points because this is very fragile, and you can easily break it by turning this too much. So it's just an o-ring seal, so there's a rubber o-ring inside and you actually don't need to tighten it very much to achieve this. Then you put on the heater at the bottom where the sample is to remove any excess gas, so that could be water absorbed to the surface, and thereby you, after doing this, you of course weigh the sample again to actually have the actual volume without any water in it. And then the sample is ready for the measurement and it's placed in the station over here and the same rules apply. Be aware that you don't break this uh, as it's fragile. Actually, what is used when you do the measurement over here is you insert a glass rod. And this is just a, a, a glass rod looking like this. It's just a solid piece of glass, but the trick is it takes part of the volume to make the measurement more accurate. So again, this is inserted very carefully. It has a small uh, pokey end which actually will make it stick up here so it doesn't fall to the bottom. So if you see here now it's just slightly above the sample and in this way uh, you can then measure the, the surface area more accurately because you're taking a part of the volume. So once this is made this can be inserted into the BET system and the measurement can be started.